Well, college graduation season is almost here. The caps, gowns, of course, celebrations. But a new Wall Street Journal poll finds a majority of Americans don't think it's worth the skyrocketing cost. In tonight's Question Everything, WBZ's David Wade asks, is college still worth it? Higher education, higher and higher tuition, and degrees that equal debt, a ton of it. So is it worth it? I asked four different people, a plumber who believes in trade school, a young professional who's a fan of community colleges, a recent grad who wrote about college being a scam, and a university president who thinks college is well worth it. <sighs> Let's start with the plumber who's tickled pink by trade schools. Sue Jacobs Marshall C calls herself Miss Fixit. I actually enjoy and look forward to every day. And you'll usually find her crammed under a sink, working around the clock. Oh, yeah, you should see my yoga position. There's a shortage of tradesmen and women, even though it's a profitable career. The average salary for a plumber is 85000 in Massachusetts, while the average trade school costs about 13000 so debt isn't a huge problem. Leave start tomorrow, you make money tomorrow. She says college loans can be a drag for years. In the meantime, this plumber or electrician has a pension started, already bought a house, you know, they're already that much ahead. Student loan debt in the U.S. totals more than $1.7 trillion. Since 1995, that number has increased by almost 800%. Students are investing a lot of money. So it's a huge investment, but what's the return on that investment? It can really depend on the major you choose. According to research from a think tank called Third Wave, these are the three best fields, nursing, engineering, and dentistry. They give you the best return on investment within the first five years after graduation. Do you think college is still worth it? I think the way that I did it, yes. Nicoletta Agostino got a business degree and works at a Newton investment firm. How much do you owe in student loans? Zero. Nicoletta credits Mass Bay Community College, where two-year associates cost about 10000 She was a standout at Mass Bay, earned scholarships, and then took advantage of a great transfer program and got her bachelor's at Bentley. I think there's a lot of stigma around community college. Stigma, she says, that comes from parents who want to brag about where their kid goes. They want the little sticker on the back of their car. Yes, absolutely, but the sticker costs $300,000. <laughs> Michael Alexander is the president of LaSalle University in Newton, and he says college is definitely worth it. Because even if you pay those high prices, you will get that back many times over in terms of additional income throughout your life, in terms of the tangible benefits of what you will learn about. Some research shows that a bachelor's degree is worth about $2.8 on average over a lifetime. But Alexander admits the prices are too high, and LaSalle is actually chopping tuition by a third. Tuition plus room and board, what does that cost right now at LaSalle? Just a sliver under $60,000 per year. Instead, we reduced it to $39,500. So people are saying, this is hard for us to find the money. We have to stretch so hard. We have to borrow too much money. And finally, the recent UMass grad who wrote this editorial for a student newspaper. The headline? I believe it was college is a scam. Max Schwartz says students are learning that only the big money making majors are now worth it and they're being forced into careers that they don't love. But you have the students who are going into the business administrations and the engineering that hate it. And then you just become another brick in the wall where you're working at Google or Facebook and then you're getting fired with 12,000 other people and you're never even that passionate about it. Hmm. So the answer is probably college is worth it, but it's definitely not for everyone. Yeah, and people, I think, are starting to have conversations about how can they make it appropriate for them, a yep. little more dynamic, right? Yeah, you really want to pick a college where you're going to be able to do the thing that you're passionate about. That doesn't mean you need to go to a big-name school to do that. Right. It's about finding the right fit. And as you saw in that story with the young woman who went to community college, at least at the beginning, there are ways to get around paying that $75,000 tuition right off the bat. Yeah, I wish I had known that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, if you have a question you'd like us to answer, you can email us or tweet us using the hashtag WBZQuestionEverything. Yeah, that was a valuable story. Thank you, David. Well, thank you. Yep.